Uh, hey guys, welcome to our channel Leaves and Lungs. So we have already seen two types of um, weed controlling method. One is like a cultural method and chemical method as well as we have seen biological method. So finally we come on to the last method of management that is physical method of weed management. So physical method of weed control. So with the term physical itself you could have probably known that the method of weed control is going to be done by either man, machine or animals because the physical some physical body is going to be get involved either it be animals or it be the machines okay so this is the physical method of weed control we'll just see what it is actually so physical force either manual or animal or any mechanical power which is used to pull out or kill or kill weeds so this is the method that is employed in physical method so physical force is going to kill or pull out the weeds so depending upon the weed in the crop situation one or combination of the methods is going to be used so you could clearly see this is a sickle or this is an instrument that is used to dug out all the weeds and this is like uh, people are getting involved in the removal of weeds from the paddy crop so there are various methods that is involved in physical method of uh, weed management so it goes by the term like hand weeding hand hoeing digging cutting burning and flaming so like these five terms like hand weeding, hand hoeing, digging, cutting and burning and flaming. So these words are like uh, these methods are like self-explanatory, right? I don't need to dwell upon this and don't need to teach anything about it. These are like self-explanatory. You can write it on your own. So only very few are like new to our new to us. One is mowing and next thing is dredging and chaining, mulches and intercultivation. So we'll see these peculiar topics one by one. So the next thing is mowing. So uh, this is called a mowing machine. So you could clearly see where it is being used. That is it is mainly practiced in non-cropped lands. So this is a lawn and it's also used in gardens to cut uh, grasses at equal level. That is to improve the aesthetic value of the gardens. So mowing is nothing but it's like cutting of the weeds to the ground level. And uh, the most common mowing tools are like sickle, scythe and lawn mower. So this is actually a lawn mower. And then mulching. Okay. So before going to mulching, what is mulches? So mulches is like all the wastes, agricultural wastes. Either it be like straws, wasted vegetables, gardens, fruits, everything. When they are applied on the soil surface, they do not allow the weeds to germinate or to grow because they inhibit the light passing through them. So this is called as mulching. So this is also one way of uh, inhibiting weed growth. So the next thing is dredging and chaining. So the most important peculiar thing about dredging and chaining is mainly employed for the aquatic weed control. So here uh, a very heavy chain is pulled over the water bodies to collect the weeds. So this method of chaining is called as this method of employing chain is called as chaining whereas the removal of weeds along with the roots and the rhizomes with the help of any mechanical force is called as dredging. So the main thing is they are employed in aquatic weeds and they are helped they are removed with the help of a mechanical force in the form of huge chains. So this is called as dredging and chaining. Also you need to know about intercultivation. So intercultivation is like cultivation that is going to be happen in between that is inter. So it's like a very effective and a cheap method of weed control in line zone crops. Line zone crop is like plants are being planted in a similar straight row. Okay. So inter intercultivation implements they have a blade which cuts the weed just below the soil surface and thus kills the weeds. And it also makes the soil surface very loose and dry so that subsequent generation of the weeds is avoid unless irrigation or rain follows. So this method is called as intercultivation and uh, some of the intercultivation implements have twines which open the soil and uproot the weeds. So this is an easiest method and is also very much effective in eradicating the weeds. So the next thing is critical period of weed competition. Okay. So just imagine this is a land you have various uh, you have various weeds growing there. Okay, when the weeds have been grown to their full potential, you just plant the seeds next to that. Without removing this, you can plant the seeds next to that. So if you plant the crop plant, the crop plant just grows and it gives the yield. Okay, so, so this is the period that is you should make the weed grow earlier than the crop plant. So when you grow this crop, when you grow this weed earlier than the crop plant, it has no 
demoralizing or damaging effects on the crop plant and the yield also remains the same okay so this is the critical period of early wheat competition so the definition is like this so it is defined as the period between early growth during which the weeds can grow without affecting the crop yield that is wheel is grown before the crop has even sprouted and the point after which the wheat grow does not affect the yield so by the time the crop plants develops it uh, the wheat does not have any impact over the main crop plant so this is the critical period of wheat competition so it's been economically defined as it is the shortest time span during the crop growth when weeding results in highest economic returns so the wheat persists and also the crop grows but there is no demoralizing or damaging effect so the exact period is known as critical period of wheat competition so uh, the crop yield level obtained by the weeding during this period is almost similar to that of obtained by the full season even if it's weed free so yield yield with the uh, weeds almost similar to yield without seeds so this is the basic concept of critical period of weed competition so it's usually approximately one third of the duration of the crop okay because uh, this is the critical period of weed competition it's usually approximately one third of the duration of the crop just remember this very very important it's been asked earlier in upsc syllabus as well so like this this is the example so the critical period of weed control is like 15 to 30 days after days of sowing so you could see this term sprouting everywhere you just need to know the definition of this guys thanks for watching the video do subscribe our channel for more and more awesome videos. I hope to see you in the next lecture. Thank you.